Howdy folks, it's Johan, your favorite little ink spirit, back at it today with some Night in the Woods. Where we left off yesterday, if I recall, we spent a lovely day with Greg putting together the whatever it was, something like bits and pieces, bits and bobs that he got from a friend that was like not a good person over at the abandoned food donkey question mark um and then we uh spent the day hanging out with b finding out that wow she is not living in a great situation with her dad and really sticking our foot in it so and then i think we went home and we were about to start another one of the whack little dream sequences so with that, let's hop back in. Yes, dream sequence. Okay. Oh, and yes, after yesterday, I did double check. You uh, attach the positive terminal first, and then the negative terminal, so should have taken the negative terminal off first. <laughs> so, keeping that in mind if I'm ever in a situation where I'm actually going to be disconnecting a car battery. I, okay, I, the bell tolling is a little intimidating. Are we, we're moving, are we on a train? Okay, so I guess we need to jump across there. But here, let's go up. The moon is always in that sort of annular eclipse. And always very central to this. I'm sure there's something to read into that about, you know, like literal lunacy, origins of the word and whatnot. Okay, ghost of a sort of one of the wolf doggy folks. Still don't know I assume wolf, since there's the donut wolf. some saxophone. Ooh, long fall? Yes, we are on a train! Yo, okay! Dun dun dun. This is... Very spooky vibes. So let's get a good run up. One, two, three. No. Yes, the timing is more. Oh. Okay, maybe I can. Okay, too far. There? Yes. Okay. Yes, May. Yes. Okay, and we can even jump up there. Sick. Okay. What does this say? Possum Springs, Deep Hollow- Ooh, okay, barely dodging the- Oh, that's unsettling. Possum Springs, Deep Hollow Country. Well, considering the amount of sinkholes from the mining, that's probably a more accurate term than uh, I assume any tourist board was actually intending. The country is deep and hollow. Wow. Trees on a train. Again, it's I love the light contrast like that. Wow. Terrif oh wow. Just looking out over the back. That's pretty. sort of urgent sounding music. A lot of these are like chill up until a point. So interesting that it's already, but you know, different vibes, different times. So up and to the right is where the last one is. Oh, that kind of mirrors the little thingamajiggers. I do not have a word the like little standing stones with lights in them. Ah, oh, the tolling bell. 
you know, not not at all. <laughs> it doesn't feel at all symbolic of something. Oh, okay, we can run along at this level. This. That's down into the room. Okay, so we were trying to get up onto that house. <laughs> it feels like it's got elements of some of the other songs, and I'm not, but I'm not confident. This is intense and spooky vibes, but in, in a good way. This makes me just want it to be Halloween again, I guess. Okay, what giant animal is it going to be this time? We've had a bear, we've had a squirrel, and now an alligator. B. Yes, Angus is a bear, but squirrel... Greg is not a squirrel, so probably not mapping between those two. Okay. Sweet dreams. Okay. Time to wake up, May. Hmm. <laughs> All right. What's on our email today? Or first, the news. Ghostly Gourd, world's largest pumpkin brock conduit to the de World Ghostly Gourd, world's largest pumpkin brock conduit to the dead. I am not getting the joke there. I'll need to think on that. <laughs> Away message. Annual Harfest play tonight at the Old Pickaxe. Come out and see the haunted history of Possum Springs. Ooh. That should be fun. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween, dude. Get spooked or something. Oh, it is Halloween. So, okay. <laughs> Perfect vibes. Hello, Sharkle. Apparently, you are the guardian. The guardian of the afterlife. So, very appropriate for Halloween. A liminal night. Did this... Did the clock always have antlers? Hmm. Okay. No book. Hello, bird. Hey, trash bird. Fair enough. I've definitely grown quite a bit since then. A little bit taller. A regular bit wider. And Granddad said I was sturdy. <laughs> I should use that one from now on. I'm sturdy. Built like a brick. Screw it. I am sturdy. Yeah. You tell him, May. Even though you're mostly telling yourself. Oh, they're moved! Okay. We have a secret passage? Oh. Okay. Is this actually the crawl space? Oh, wait. <laughs> I know how to open this. Left 40. Oh! From the Grandpa's book. Left 45, right 100, left 22, left 90, right 15. Thanks, Granddad. Huh, it's opening. Aha, uh -huh, it's opening. What the hell? It's an old tooth? Yeah, that's a tooth. Granddad put a tooth in a safe in the basement. Well, never know when you'll need an extra tooth. You and me, tooth, we're gonna go far. I'll take it. That's upsetting. Mysterious tooth. <laughs> oh, wait, Ta-da! It's Selmer's, a poet! Absolutely. So, weird, hidden, weirdly open space with a safe to hide a tooth. I vaguely remember how things end. I don't... Why that, though? That... That's weird. And why doesn't May find it more weird? But I guess she was fine with an arm, so. Hey, Mom. Mm-hmm. Um. You okay? Sure, honey. You're lying. 
So, honey, do you feel like talking about school yet? Uh, um, okay. So, what's the story? I... I just felt like it wasn't where I should be. Where you should be? What does that even mean? Ugh, never mind. Let's talk about this later. Any idea when you might want to do that? Because, honey, I am all ears. I really am dying to find out why you decided to up and abandon all the plans we'd made as a family. Jeez, Mom. Where is this coming from? You know you're the fir- The first Borowski to go to college. Yeah, Mom, I know. I only heard that since I was like six. Well, honey, we'd, be, we'd been planning for it since you were born. Spent a good 18 years and got into all kinds of trouble just for you to decide you'd rather be here. Might as well have taken all that effort and money and worry and dumped it in a hole. Oh, that said through gritted teeth. Are you like having one of your mood swings again? Ugh, like I'm the moody one in this house? You are the moody one in this house. Well, enjoy this house while we still have it. What? What's happening to the house? Maybe it just isn't where we should be. Mom, this isn't funny. You know what? Mom, this isn't funny. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about anything. Why start now? Go off and do whatever it is you do. You know what? Maybe if I'd had more examples of, you know, getting out and making something of myself. No. No. You do not get to. Maybe you wanted me to get out of here because you never got around to doing it yourself. Maybe I'm just the most recent failure in the line of failures that is our family. Oh, I'm leaving now. Hmm. Wow. Uh, first B, now that. I think everyone has a lot of... I think everyone has a lot going on. A lot of which is probably valid. But they are not very good at discussing it in a healthy or respectful way. Whoa, decorations! Girl, you can't mess around on Halloween. Jeez. Want to hear a, po a new poem? Uh, sure. Bats and moon, against the gloom, the night is black, I made a snack. Cool. I microwave, microwaved, pizza I'd saved. Though pizza cold is breakfast gold. That's so true. It really happened. Hey, they say write what you know. Oh, it's, oh man, it's reminding me, it's been forever, but there's a pizza buffet that was very nice where uh, when they were getting ready to get rid of the food. If there was no one else in there, they would be happy to bag it up. So, you know, instead of going to the trash, go to someone who will eat it. And there is nothing better than truly free pizza. Big Halloween fan here. Yeah, me too, obviously. You going to Harfest? Nah, staying here for the trick-or-treaters. You are a saint. Harfest is dumb. Really? I love it. I mean, are you eight years old? No, I'm not. Eh. Eh, sometimes May feels a little like it. But, you know, we love small town traditions. Don't touch my pumpkin. But, I wasn't going to, but... Touch. Can't just say stuff like that. Nope, jumping on squirrels. The slightly more violent version of walking on suns sunshine. No tunnel fish guy, but let's get them pretzels. I bet my, I bet some rat babies would love a delicious pretzel. Agreed. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Uh oh, you see nothing. Okay. Oh, I did not reach far enough. This is okay. There we go. Stop. Okay. Keep going. Notes. I don't like it whenever the eye gets 
play it very safe. No, I'm not moving. Okay, okay. I'm stopping, but it drifts a little. Okay. Oh, this is unfairly easy now. I am very nervous. One pretzel is enough for my tiny rat darlings. Yes, okay. Even with the addition, I did read that correctly. I was worried that I might be starving them by not trying to go get another one yesterday, but... But, uh... Hello? Holy shit. The dudes! Someone hacked up the dudes! Who did this? Why did they do it? Wait, did I seriously not read... I've been... I've been through that so often. How did it... Okay. Thought, Nuke Possum Springs. Yeah. I mean, I'd rather not. Like, there's people living here, but... Sure. Where is everybody? Mm, mm. What? Mm, mm. Oh my god, we used to do that. Awesome. Mm, mm, mm. Well, you go easy on my street. Mm, 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 mm. Deal. I'm glad we reached an accord. I have vague... The phrase pumpkin head guy is suddenly in my head, and I'm guessing it's probably like the name of a song or something based on that? I don't know. It's like, that. that that is a pumpkin-headed guy. Hey, that's where Angus is. Do we even dare talk to B? Oh, hey Lori. You're a little bit, a bit more accessible today. You hyped for Harfest? Um, Harfest is pretty dumb, right? I'm gonna watch a bunch of old Dracula movies from the 60s. That actually sounds really cool. It is. Gonna get a pizza too. All to myself. Wow, you have life way more figured out than I did at your age. Really? What were you doing then? Hanging out in really embarrassing places online. Hanging out in really embarrassing places online. Yep. See ya. <laughs> Just short circuit that dialogue. Later. Tss. Rip. Okay. Ooh. Don't have the option to go in there yet. Oh, everything is so great and harfesty, which is basically just a less spooky Halloween. Whatever. I just want to head home and get ready for tonight. I could just do that, or I could wander a bit, taking the harfesty air. Well, I'll get home when I do. That's a good attitude. 87th Annual Possum Springs Harfest, brought to you by the Possum Springs Chamber of Commerce. Ooh. Uh, hey, Aunt Mallcop. Mall cops don't carry guns, May. Jeez. I guess you need that gun for... What are you doing? Locking off the road. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't want to do that without a gun. You know how many times I've shot someone? No. Tell me now. Once. You kill him? No. So you're saying you don't really need it, then? You should carry a battle axe. That would be impressive. I'll look into it. That ferris wheel looks like a nightmare. Thanks, Colleen. That's helpful. What's wrong with it? I don't trust giant load-bearing machines you can assemble and disassemble in one day. <laughs> That's valid. It's hit the record. We've always had uh, we've always hit the record at Harfest. Yeah, since 1984. Maybe that's a clue we should retire it. Shut up, Andrew. Hey everyone, let's just take a step back here and cool down. We are going to have the hit record at our best tonight. Fine then, I'll send all the lawsuits your way. Bring it, Colleen. Oh, these seem... These folks seem... <laughs> Talking about the gun too. Yeah. These folks seem... Seem delightful. I am very curious about Aunt Malkop, the time that she saw, shot someone. She obviously remembers it, and I'm guessing it was... Guessing it was a lot. Even if you know it's part of your line of work. It's, it's a lot to do that to someone. Say hi to Bruce. Oh, hey, Pastor K. Ooh. Breathe some fire already, dude. <laughs> that would be rad. Howdy. 
You waiting for someone? Well, I think I'm being stood up. A uh, date? Not the kind you mean. Honestly, a big part of my job is someone calling, me heading out, and them not showing up. You were meeting them at the statue of Saint Rubello. Yeah, the fire-breathing guy who, like, ate people. Mm, that's a bit of an oversimplification. But, yeah, basically. <laughs> uh, we love funky patron saints. Cool guy to have a statue of, outside the church, I mean. Well, I didn't put it here, but can't we learn something from Saint Rubello? Breathe fire. <laughs> Eat people. Sure. This statue is part of our Encourage Criminal Acts Outreach. <laughs> the who the what now? It's working. <laughs> I have several more questions. <laughs> I, I was not expecting it to be that abrupt. So, trans, transform youth ministry. Okay. So, Saint Rubello is a fire-breathing, man-eating patron saint who's here as part of an outrage to encourage cr committing crimes of vandalism? Like, trying to find healthy out- I wow, okay. There's a lot to unpack there. Hey, Bruce. I will say, though, um, I do really like that point of the pastor, her job being to show up to places and often being stood up. Um, I spent a little time doing uh, some youth outreach stuff uh, for, like, GED tutoring, and you have to be very willing to be blocking out big chunks of your day where people aren't going to show up because part of why a lot of these folks are in the position they're in they've got a lot of things going on they've got some struggles themselves and it's just not going to happen a lot of the time and that doesn't mean you give up on them because they need someone there to keep trying to be consistent but it's it's a lot. You would think that showing up and doing nothing would be easy in a way, but it's really taxing. That's, uh, was it? I, I think I've heard the concept of the most difficult thing an army can do is just sit there and take fire, like Battle of Hastings and whatnot. You know, it's really tough to just sit there and get hammered and do nothing. It's really tough to be invested and geared up to try and help someone and just have nothing happen leaves you alone with thoughts, and hopefully you get the better of them. You gonna go down to Harfest tonight? Hmm, dunno, maybe. Keep to myself. You should say hi if you're there. I'll be there. Okay. We'll see, I suppose. Yeah. Bruce seems like a nice dude. <laughs> also probably has a good read on people of sticking to yourself sometimes. Hello? Okay. Uh, are, if they're sharing an eyeball, I'm worried because I don't want to be. Is that Perseus or Theseus? Perseus, I think. Hey. Hmm. Hello. Hmm. Hey. Traveler from distant lands, you have journeyed far, and it has brought you here to us. Actually, I walked like 15 minutes from my house. Walker far from home. We will tell you of your future. But first, be truthful. Tell us. Which of these have you seen? A shipwreck? A ghost on a hill? An arrow broken? Broken? Really? I, um, hmm... You're all like 14-year-old goths? Why am I answering this? Well, okay. I don't... I don't think we've seen the ghost on a hill. We've talked about a little... Little Joe. I... There was something. Broken Arrow, I don't know. The shipwreck is the playground one, right? On my way into town, in the playground, this old ship. How did you... You have answered well. We will peer into your future, and give you what help we can. In the coming dark. Wait, what? Daylight savings ending? Alright, go for it. <laughs> Tell us first, 
What is God in this place? Wow, uh, is it caring but absent, uncaring but distant, vicious and roaming? Can we go with nice and helpful? No. Okay, fine. I assume that this is not something that you're forced to go and do. This is just a little thing that's challenging you to come up with how you view a god of this. Oh my gosh, okay. Vicious and roaming, caring and absent, uncaring and distant. So, active and malicious, kind but flawed, simply flawed. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like I don't know enough about this world. I, I, I do not think vicious and roaming. I get... Talking about sort of like the semiotic, semiotic ghosts and just the, the concept of this tapping into something that's sort of an undercurrent. I think I think there are a lot of things that we've seen here that do feel caring. Um, and if you want to attribute that to a god, perhaps. But there is also very much a sense of things being removed. I, I, I think that caring and absence speaks the most to me. True enough. She works still. She, I like that. In hopes it will return. She? She who? We see something. In your future. We know. We know. We know. K already. Jeez. If the sky is empty, is it enough to be a good watcher? If the sky is empty, is it enough to be a good watcher? If you are watching in the wrong place, is it enough to simply watch? Mm -hmm. Interesting. If the sky is empty, is it enough to be a good watcher? There's still things in... There's still things in emptiness. That... That is too cryptic. <laughs> I don't. I, I. I. will try and keep that in mind, though. That's more of a fortune. Th that's more of a question than a fortune, guys. Let's try something easier. What am I going to have for dinner tonight? Mm, don't know. Don't care. I want tacos. We'll have them soon. We'll all have tacos soon. Okay. Well, I'm gonna get going. Stop. Do you see the mystical symbol? Etched upon this sacred rock. Uh. Oh, shoot. There is graffiti. Sucks here. Uh. 69. A. Case and EAG. Or CAS and EAG. M. Debic. Got. Uh. Oh. There, there's the anarchy symbol. Maybe that. The pentagram. The pentagram you guys drew. I don't see a pentagram. The spooky pentagram you teens drew. <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing it's in the middle of them. So, now am I sarcastic or just... Yeah, let's just... We're not playing into it. Yes, good. Yes, good. Okay. It is the first of three. Find it thrice. And it shall find you. In the dark. Okay, cool. Well, I'm gonna head out. You guys are adorable. And weird, but the fun kind of weird. This is serious. Like, we're not kidding. We don't care or anything. But like, dude. Alright, alright, I'll keep an eye out. For pentagrams and whatnot. Cool. Uh, you broke your speaking order. Um, no. We're just going backwards now. Are you freaking out yet? See ya, weird goth teens. You're not going and gonna knock on us to the pastor, right? For being out here? Nah. Cool. Thanks. Like, it's not just me. There's not... I don't see a pentagram. Three weird teens I met. Hell yeah.
Oh, is there a St. Rubello thing? No. Ooh. I... I missed that one. That's upsetting. That still speaks to me, the... This sort of very barren parking lot. There's Rubello breathing fire. So, I hope we can find pentagrams. That would be cool. I'm guessing that would reveal something new and interesting. Is it enough to watch the sky? Is it enough to simply... Is it enough to be a good watcher if the sky is empty? Uh... Is that what Pastor Kate is doing? Showing up when there's no one there? Watching an empty sky? Mm, do we talk to our mom? Yeah. Mm, I'm busy. Ooh, okay. Mmm, Still can't go over there. But it feels like there is a room over there. Even if we never go there, it adds depth. Love, peace. Okay, yeah, just totally empty because Pastor K is outside. Wow. It does feel echoey. Yeah, I don't know. It, like, this feels cozy with all of the light, but I, I'm not a big fan of the austere, I suppose. I like things that feel more lived in. The colors on the... What would that be? Because it's going to be the Greek root, right? Because it's penta hepta, or penta sexta, septa. So it, prob probably octa? Octogram? I don't know if that's... <laughs> but the colors on the octogram... I'm just gonna call that the eight-pointed star. Are interesting. I I'm very curious as to what there's a lot of symbolism in this game. I assume that I'm just not picking up on. Hey, why is the founder's head missing? Has that just always been a thing, and I haven't noticed? That's new though, right? Hey, Barky Dog. New Possum Springs eighty-seven. Hi, hello, greetings, salutations. Genius, you're dumb. Uh, oh my god, Charlene, I love. Have I just not been looking closely at the graffiti? It bl wow, that's again so much small detail. Goat love, deathy. Oh god, that's probably you know bands that people have made. Goat love. Goat dung, woo -hoo. Do 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 do. Soundtrack's vaguely reminding me. I, it's it is different, but um, of uh, the Wild Frost card game, which I should play more. It, it, that's just impeccable vibes. Okay, how are you doing, Mallard and my little rat babies? All right, my little miracle rats. Time to eat. Is that four of them this time? Yes, there's four. Also, is the pretzel more burned, or is that just me? Yay! Wow, there's so many of you. Someday you won't need me anymore, and you'll leave. Will I even recognize you on the street as we pass each other? I love you, Miracle Rats. <laughs> miracle Rats. Hope springs, rats multiply. There's a Flogging Molly song, I think. Celtic punk band. Uh, Wanderlust. Uh, do you still walk the streets at night with that wanderlust you fight? Back to the corner where we went our separate ways. It feels related. But yeah, like, okay, Founder's head is gone. Uh, Brittany, at wow, there yeah, there's so much graffiti. I've just I've been wandering right by it. 
I mean, most of it isn't particularly important, I would say, but it's, I, I do love when we come across, um, like, old Roman graffiti, or, um, I know there's some caves where uh, we found in, like, old Futhark runes, things that are the equivalent of, like, you know, Harold was here. You know, it's just, it, graffiti is an art that's been around for a very long time. And, I mean, in Roman times, it was an important form of public expression. Hello, Angus. Happy Halloween! <laughs> hey, you two. You feeling spooky? Oh, extremely. Can't you tell? Do your spooky face. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> That's so cute! <laughs> Angus! Angus, you're just smiling. And it's adorable, not scary. Oh. Nice effort, though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I really want to hang out with Angus. He seems so precious. I also... Based on how Greg's acting and the fact that they have plans... Is he gonna be upset at May? I don't remember, but... If Greg's, if Greg's been fine, and now he's acting out because we're back and he's trying to relive the glory days, is, is Angus, uh, Angus is gonna be upset, isn't he? You going to Harfest? Nah, gonna watch the game. There a game tonight? Well, no, but I was gonna watch my fave highlights. Why don't you come on out? Might be good. Stretch your legs, see the parade. Meh. Ever seen the game live? Meh. Nah, never. Come on out to Harfest. You never know. Mm, yeah, all right. Yeah, go smelters. Go smelters. I like their friendship. Oh, wait. Can I get up on this building? No. Oh, wait. Okay, we'll give it one more try. I feel like I was just short of the snack falcon. I can. Okay. Is there... A-OK -okay, Drugs and Malt. <laughs> Interesting choice of advertising. Okay, broken bill. Okay, so not... Haven't been missing much. I imagine. Who knows? Say hi to Greg. Actually, we'll probably be able to hang out with Greg, won't we? <laughs> Sorry, Greg. Uh, I uh, just needed to... Run on home. Oh, are we not going to be able to hang out with Greg because it's Harfest? Nope, sorry about the mic. Doop, 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 doop. Do we get to see Germ today? No Germ. Oh! Uh. I'm guessing this is Germ hanging out with the quote unquote crusties? Hey, Germ. Hey, May. Hey, I'm Scams. Scams? That's Jenna. Hi. Hi. I'm Bill Dawn. And I'm Germ. I'm May. I completely forgot what I was going to say. Hey, Germ. You coming to Harfest? Meh, maybe. Are you guys going? Yeah, we might hop on over. Check out the power day. I mean, y'all got ghosts here for, for real, right? Yeah. What? Little Joe, you know? Yeah, man. Local legend. My man, Tapeworm? Out in Bright Harbor? He told me he never got off in this town because of the ghost. Ah, uh, that's a load of crap. Sneaks into rail yards and snatches up the good in the pier. Well, you kids got nothing to fear, then. Damn it, old timer. We're pure as the air. Alright, well, I guess I'll see some of you there. Nice to meet you. Same, little lady. Hmm. See ya, germ. See ya. Oh, pentagram ghost. <laughs> Is there a pentagram nearby?
Germ has interesting friends. And interesting thoughts. Doop, 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 doop. Do 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 do. I think that's a clutch song that's in my head. It's sort of southern blues rocky. Snack Falcon. Okay. Crunchster. Swoop in for a bite. Snakeums Fruit Ghost. Okay. Hey man, how's things? Hmm. Good. Harfest rush. No one's in here. You missed it. The horror. Oh. I got... I done got horrored. Getting horrored at work is the worst. When is... When is this place busy? Morning is bad. Lunch is kinda bad. After I leave is bad. Christine, the owner, comes in then. I don't think I've ever seen Christine. I tried to be out the door before she's clocked in. Nice. Anyway, you're here now, and I'm here now, and it's a lovely day. And I was worried I'd have to smash these light bulbs all by myself. So what's up? Um, uh, I'm very interested in this light bulb smashing. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah. Uh, this seems ill-advised. And yeah, let's maybe try not to get it in Greg's eyes. Boom. I'm... Oh, Greg. Okay, he's shielding himself. Bam! This is fun, but I'm so concerned. Oh, she's so happy dragging the... Ow! What the shit, Greg? <laughs> Ow, jeez. Ow, <laughs> that's so rude. She's so happy dragging the bat, though. But blam! Ooh! I did the math on how much these things cost. And? I'm so worried about another bottle. Oh, shoot. <laughs> that was too far. <coughs> oh, and that was too short. Jeez, May. Okay, come on. Jeez. Ah, what the F? Yeah. There we go. 67 cents. Okay, that's... That's not terrible. Better things to spend your money on, but it's fun. 67 cents! You should try hitting it with the bat. <laughs> you should try hitting it with the bat. Darn, I tried to batter up. Okay, I'm done. Before I lose an eye. <laughs> I tried each time, but got cancelled. Smash. Yeah. Oh, she looks so angry. So powerful. So, what's up? Nothing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was just a nice little interlude. Okay, I think that means we've actually pretty much done everything, right? Spoke to the weird pumpkin head guy. We said hi to Jerem. We saw Lori. Said hi to Angus. And just not be at the old pickaxe after a fight, which I think is fair. Nothing at the war memorial. There's pentagrams around, but... So, that isn't the statue of the founder thing that I was thinking, so... Might, might have just always been headless. Okay, can't jump down there. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, it's smoke from the chimney. It's lovely. Very cozy. Cylinders. I also, I hadn't looked at the trees a whole lot, but I like the sort of slightly transparent to give the illusion of it being bigger and then the leaves inside. Gives the sort of feeling of being able to look through. That's a good way to do it. That's, I'm always terrible. I like, I love style, stylized art, but I do not have the bravery to try and develop a style. <laughs> oh, her mug. And did she leave the dishes out? I don't know if she's done that the other days, but if she did. Oh, and the boots in slight disorder. 
Oh, right, we found a tooth this morning, and I've already basically forgotten about that. Dear Lord. Mirror. Oh yeah, normal clothes. Oh yeah, time to get spooky. Sweet. Oh, like the er uh, uh um witch dagger poster. There we go. Witch dagger. Rad. Oh my gosh. And the little cloak. Yes. Oh, I love that so dearly. I want a cloak. I should make a cloak. I should make a cloak. I need to work on that. <laughs> Probably not a super modern fashion statement, but... No sleep! Harfest! Yeah! Ba blam Stare at... Stare at my family's portrait. Wait, can I not jump? <gasps> I can't... I'm jumpless! What am I supposed to do? This is gonna... Just make sure nothing's happened down here. Be spooky. Oh, I can... Okay, not much, but... I didn't notice it the first time. I can hear, like, sort of buzzing water noises. Good ambiance. Good ambiance. Do 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 Yep, and there's the... Late at night, kitchen noises. Hello? Hmm, they must already be out. Harvest. Whoa. That was loud. Whoa, Halloween Harvest. Yeah. Oh, I wonder if there will be more pentagrams now. Ooh, this is lovely spooky music. I love the little dagger being one of the only things you can see. Can't jump. So it kind of locked, but that's... No, that, I guess that's not Lori. I'm terrible, I just see a mouse and assume. The um, smelters, guys. Splash him, fortune, okay. So we've got activities we can do. On the parade and silhouette. Um... Oh, who's the... We've seen the, the, the cat with the ear piercings. Oh, right, those are the teens. Okay. Oh, the ant. Oh, this. Aw. Oh. It's been forever since I've been able to make it to something like this. Yes, yes, maybe it's sort of young kid goofy thing, but it's so. It's, it's fun. It's good vibes. Dare you spin the Wheel of Destiny? Explain. None can explain the power of the wheel. Save that it is an unknowable circular soothsayer. Snap, is it gonna say the sooth? The sooth shall be said. Okay, I'm into this. Um, I want max power. Ah, slightly off. I want maximum power. Six. Ooh, tarot? Spin, spin, spin away. Okay. I don't know how to interpret this, but I'm guessing there's a star sign thing. Your fortune is your future, a place you will soon be, forever. Okay, that checks out. Your card says much. Some things you shall understand, and some things that shall elude you. This shall ever be your fate. Hmm. So some things I'm gonna understand and what? Being able to cold read is also a very good skill. Fun for stuff. That's a dumb fortune. That's everyone. Everyone is like that. The cards do not lie. The wheel that chooses the card is unknowable. So this is... unknowable truth? You have learned much, child. I'm 20? Well, that was interesting. May the wheels ever spin in your favor. Alright then. <laughs> okay. Our future will be understood in some parts and not in others. Hold up. Colleen, how do I get into this thing? God damn it. Ooh. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. I'm a spooky hand. Welcome to the Harfest Spectacular Water Balloon Toss. You know what to do. Or can figure it out pretty quick. Okay, let's go. 
Oh, dodging. Woohoo, you hit me. You hit the spooky ghost. I'm a scary spirit and I've been hit. Nope. I'm trying to predict it too much. Yeah, I'm gonna haunt you for that. I'm extremely cold and wet. Oh, I'm no, I'm dead again. Oh no, you've hit the evil witch. Yes, you are. You're part of the city council. Again, I'm the witch. What will where will the witch go next? Oh, I'm gonna hex you up. Gonna get hexed. Ah she bounces around a lot more. Ah Oh no, I'm melted, I'm running away. Oh <laughs> okay, so he's got he just kinda goes. Oops, I'm the pumpkin. You hit me, the pumpkin. You got me, the pumpkin wet. Oh, he is not feeling the spirit of this. Ouch, that one hurt me, the pumpkin. <laughs> I mean, he's kind of trying. Wow, I... Okay. Whoa. Hello, alligator. Rattle, rattle. I'm a skeleton. Clickety-clack, you hit my bones. Wow, okay. My pattern recognition is immaculate. Um, cool, okay. Plunkity clunk, that tickled my funny bone. Plankity clink, I'm all wet. Damp bones. Bone mold. Plunkity bang, my poor bony body. No. Jeez. Oh, all of them? Well, that sure was something. On behalf of the Possum Springs Town Council, we urge you to support local business. <laughs> And enjoy our historic home. Possum Springs, more l Kathleen, no. More like Awesome Springs! <laughs> oh no. Okay, we're done. I was kind of hoping I could throw a balloon in response. <laughs> oh. She so badly wanted to do that. I, more like Awesome Springs. Uh, market House? That's gonna be the old pickaxe, right? Okay, I guess that's the last place we get to go. What was the, okay, that was a star. It's like, what's up on the hill? Hey, hey. Mm, what you up to? Seriously? We're putting on this year's Harfest pageant. Oh, right, okay. Live from the old pickaxe. When's this thing supposed to start? Uh, ten minutes, I think? You think? Ugh, this is a nightmare. Why did I ever agree to do this? Chamber of Commerce owes me big for this. Jeez, I hear ya. Hmm. We can hear people walking around. Hmm, what? Okay, so here's the thing. You won't have many lines. What? I've had, like, three no-shows. Why? Because this whole thing is stupid and nobody cares about it. B? Please, it's a fun part. B? Yeah? I will totally save your ass. I might have this memorized from when I was a kid. Probably not. They rewrote it, like, six times in the past two years to be spookier. So it's, like, 20% actual history now and, like, 80% spooks. So it's, like, fake history now? So it's like fake history now? It's like the bad remake that doesn't respect the source material. It starts off normal but gets... Anyway, you got like five minutes to look at your lines. Psh, I can wing it. May, please don't wing it. Okay. I mean, yeah, it's gonna be bad if she, she doesn't know the new ones. Oh my goodness. Aren't, aren't, aren't some of these people raccoons? And, oh god. Oh, I didn't see ye there. Be ye ghosts? Are ye here to hear the tale of how Possum Springs came to be? <laughs> Through the mists of time I see wary fur trappers from 1793. I know this isn't B's voice, but I, I don't know. I hear ye, and it just gets that way. Brother John. Yes, Brother Stephen. 
From this vantage point I do spy a deep hollow, and within a great dead tree, and besides with, uh, which, a spring. Blessed are we, brother Stephen, for truly my throat is parched from these long and arduous travels and carrying these three hundred beaver pelts. Let us make haste, O excellent brother. Uh. Oh, travelers, spare a crust of bread for a needy woman. Haggard witch. Horrible to look upon. Cruel young men, ye did not even offer one of thy three hundred fine beaver pelts to warm my ancient bones. I shall curse. <laughs> Thou art a rude and naughty boy. Thou art a rude and naughty boy. Okay. Uh, thy naughtiness must be met with punishment. I art uncomfortable. Um. Thy punishment is a curse that shall take ye and thee even this very night. It's, I knew it was the wrong one, but come on. Naughty. Phew. Yee hee 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 hee. I was born among these trees, neath a harvest moon, and ye shall die under that moon. Brother John, I am frightened. Faith, Brother Stephen, art thou so easily shaken by the ramblings of an old crone? Come, help me carry these three hundred beaver pelts. But little did any one know that the witch did not curse in vain. She swears very productively. No scene change? We're back. I, I love the set dressing, honestly. Help, help! Who will help a poor traveler? Uh, um, uh, by the moon and stars above us, sir, I beseech thee, what is thy trouble? You're in this? Yup. Ah, witch! Yup. I swear thee, friend, that this very day, this horrifying crone did curse my brother and I to die. Zwounds. Zwounds? Zwounds. We camped by this very spring beneath the dead tree, and even now his body lieth upon the earth, lifeless as a pile of three hundred beaver pelts. Oh, it chilleth the heart. <laughs> I did curse this spring, that any man who drinketh from it shall perish. Oh, I am slain. I join thee now, Brother Stephen. Ooh, he committed. Wow. I am also undone, for I have dranketh of, dranketh of the water. Don't leave me here, Greg. Bye. <laughs> and yet, even there, the curse's lust for blood would not be sated. <gasps> I mean... If they're just dropping dead, where's the blood? <laughs> I know, I know. I shouldn't read too much into it, but... Da, da, da. Gaze upon them. Gaze upon these spirits. I wonder if it's because I'm, like, remembering Macbeth narration. Gaze upon them. Gaze upon these spirits. Brother, we are now ghosts. Ah, I am tormented by the accusing glare of three hundred ghostly beavers. It would seem that all who die here are cursed to never leave. Doth that witch know what she hath done? I, I hope so. If you're if you're slinging curses, you should know. Uh, um, crap. <laughs> For, for each man. <laughs> for what is a ghost? For what is a ghost but that which haunts the empty space that was once full? And once haunted, can a place be unhaunted? Ooh, janitor is back. 
when we're talking about emptiness and ghosts, after we were told about, is it enough to watch an empty sky? Okay. I don't think my brain... I do not think I'm going to have proper thoughts on this right now, but I... Mm, <laughs> excited. You! From the bus station. Young witch. It is I, the god of the forest. Uh, just didn't expect you to. Ain't that the way. So, witch, thou hast tarried too long in this world. I banish thee to wander in the night through the stranger places. God, how did you know? How did you know? Young witch, let me speak wisdom to you. We begin and we end at night in the woods, but that is not the whole of the story. Okay. I, right? Like, God of the Woods, he's this mysterious figure. He's a janitor. Janus. Janus. God of passageways and choices. There, right? That, 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 that's gotta be. This is your line. Where's God? Do I play into it, or do I question him? He's not going to answer me directly, right? Forest God, thou hast no power here. Even now, thy end beginneth. Back, my infernal powers! Shh, young witch, even now, the world you know endeth, and who can say what lieth in the world to come? Well, beware as you go, for there are ghosts. Ooh, ooh. Take care. That's both the play and warning us, right? Something big is about to change. I, I do remember. I'm fairly certain what changes, but we're getting into the end game. But, man, I do wonder. That's I guess that's why you replay the game, right? I wonder if I, I made the other choice, if I would learn more about him. And so was founded then this festival. On Halloween we shall celebrate the dying of the year and the founding of Possum Springs. I, Mayor Ghost, decree it. The beaver population suffered a decline, and now our biggest exports are corn and pumpkins. We used to be the county seat. <laughs> now do you... <laughs> now leave before I curse you all. Oh no, audience! And that's our show. Be careful as you leave here, or who knows what may lurk in the darkness. And also be sure to pick up a flyer on your way out from the Possum Springs Chamber of Commerce. Support your spooky local businesses. I want to know more about the janitor. We haven't seen him just around town, right? I guess I haven't been looking that hard. Like, I could see Germ being God, I could see Janitor being God. Because I, I feel like, oh, what did we start it off with? Did we? I wonder if that changes the dialogue options, because I think I started off with they, they sought God in the lonely places, right? But now we're talking about empty spaces and such. And... Um, oh, the, the stranger, I curse thee to walk the stranger places, which I love, the stranger places. Uh, just the idea of cursing someone to wander places that never feel familiar, a curse of no home, maybe? Or, or is it just the sort of availability heuristic, the availability bias of, because I started out with that and that's what I chose and geared myself towards, that's what I'm seeing and picking. I don't know. I don't know. On the bright side, it's recorded. I'll be able to check back. Jeez, thanks guys. I am never doing that again. So what are we doing now? Well, I'm going home. Angus is making dinner and we're gonna watch horror movies. Can I come? It's more a uh, date thing. Oh. What are you doing, B? Mm, Chamber of Commerce folks are going to the buffet out by Ham Panther. Kinda have to go. Business stuff. I hate this. But you're good at it. 
Both of those things can be true. Can I come? Nope. Okay, well... Good night. Night. And now you're left alone with your thoughts, having to be yourself. This is garbage. Hmm. Who's that sitting there? <gasps> oh! Uh... They... What the? Oh my god. Hey, anyone? Someone just got kidnapped or murdered or both? Shit. I can't control the running. Damn. Where the hell did he go? Shit. That's terrifying. Maybe in the food donkey? No. Still can't jump. Is this real? Or is this May making things up because she's lonely and bored? Hello. That's uh, creepy as hell. Should feel glad that there's a fence between you. May, go home. There's a guy up there on the hill. He stole some kid? He looked like a ghost. A ghost, huh? Or something like that? May, you shouldn't be out here. Doing whatever it is you're doing? No, no one should be out here. But there's this guy. I'll drive you home, May. No. May, now. Okay. Is this a dream sequence? I can only walk. Couldn't walk more to the right. I can walk left. What is going on? Okay. So, going to the right, you slow down almost instantly even though you're running. That's nightmarish. I have thought that a game where you choose to go left or right and you can only move in that direction it'd be an interesting mechanic I don't know how to make it work but okay that's more disturbing than I thought is that is that a booth? what am I seeing? okay cool I don't know where to place that or what was go okay and we're just moving on like finding a tooth in the basement part three the long fall i guess this does have parts so maybe i should name the stream part not part something but uh <laughs> session so that was dream harvest so, cloaked figure. Is that, is that like a cloak and a miner's hat with like a lamp on top kind of vibe? And then a hole. I remember. Okay. Okay. So that was a dream and it was beckoning. Can I play some bat bass? But which song? Nah, later. So space dragon, die anywhere else. Weird autumn. Go get dead, angel face. Let's do, let's do a little musical interlude. Space dragon, wanderer in space, nomad of forbidden place. Okay, I'm gonna suck, but I love this vibe. There's a song called, I think, Dope Smoker by a band called Sleep that's like an hour long. I have good memories of when I was younger just sort of leaving that on in the background. Similar vibes. Oh yeah, and the like, cool wandering the wasteland stuff. It's 
got a sort of inevitability to it. Oh, don't, don't. At one point I tried to do pixel art of the sort of uh, wander of the wasteland thing. It did not turn out well, but it's such good vibes. Dun, 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 dun. Oop. Titular space dragon. But yeah, it just plods along and is inevitable. This type of music. There's some songs that have like big intro vibes, like you want to walk in somewhere when you're about to mess stuff up, but usually they can't carry the energy through very long. Whereas this is just, it goes. Dum, 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 Heck yeah. It's just... And, like, the vibes that May gives off. She's just like, yeah. Not bad considering I don't know how to play this song. <laughs> yep, not good at those parts. How the hell do you draw a space dragon? Good question. Oh, I like that it gets inserted later on. So, I guess the order in which you do stuff, it's got accommodations for it. That's cool. Yeah, how? What makes it a space dragon? I, I, the wastelander vibes are so cool. And yeah, we can try one more, because I'm I don't know. Go get dead, Angel Face. This was something. God, she, Angel Face got mentioned, right? Whoa, no, no. Oh right, this was a song that she used to play and was embarrassed about. This this is about her um, ex that we met at the party. I forgot about that. Whoa, no way. I'm going to play that one. Too embarrassing. Okay. <laughs> uh, hey, friends. Did you see the murder last night? Okay, news. Bright Harbor Post. Is Autumn secretly killing you? Oh, also, Bright Harbor is where uh, Angus and Greg are going, right? Is Autumn secretly killing you? Hopefully not. Hey, May. Thanks so much for your help last night. Woke up and realized that I completely imposed in a big way. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I'll be at work cleaning up after last night if you want to say hello. She's already getting her crap back together. That's... Be being an awesome adult. Hey, dude. Sorry last and couldn't hang last night. Angus says he's sorry, too. Band practice to... Yeah? Because I'm in charge and I say so. Off to work, bye. B is awesome. That's been saying everyone needs a friend like Greg. And yes, you need you need that good energy from Greg. Everyone needs a friend like B. B is the type of friend that helps you grow and be a better person. And is gonna help you get out of some really tight spots. So show some love to the bees of the world. Wonder if the new if the new working clock downstairs thinks this clock is scary. Big old thing upstairs, like you, but different, huge and spooky, making weird noises at night. It's the ghost, it's the clock ghost. They're locked in their little place, so they hear it and they know. But ooh, oh, I can't find this thing spooky. It's a piece of granddad. We need more of those. Considering that we found a place where. Her granddad stashed a tooth. A little worried that a piece of granddad might be more literal than we'd like. Maybe he had a wooden leg? Do, 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 do we have any detective books out here? Oh, of course we do. Of course we do. Do we have any books about ghosts? Like real life ghosts? Do we have any books for nut jobs, I guess? No, this is good. Research is good. Confront the problem head on. You're not losing it, dude. You are, in fact, keeping it very close. 
Yeah, May's doing great. You're just like, the same every day? What is your bird existence like? <laughs> Good question. What thoughts do happen? Uh, actually, wasn't I a while back musing about uh, what goes on in the bird's head? Hmm. While looking a bit older, I guess. Here to take like one moment and make it like the official version of us. Yeah. That's the. I don't know if it was like a real belief ever or just like a joke thing that's entered into the collective conscious, but the whole concept of like, oh, camera stealing your soul. But like, oh no, again, objects have memories, right? And that photo is probably going to survive much longer than the family, and that's going to be how people remember them. I, uh, my mom loves genealogy. I think it's cool too, but it's really weird to me seeing photos of people that, you know, you, you don't get to know, but you know that they lived real full lives and you're part of their... Uh, not destiny isn't the right word, but uh, their their legacy. There we go. And you know nothing about them other than this one photo, oftentimes that was taken, you know, they had to stay still for a long time. I love, there's one or two photos we've got where you can tell that they were laughing and messing around and couldn't stay still because it's a little blurred and there's actual expression on their faces. And that, ah, that feels good. That... You know, the other ones, it, it is almost like the soul is stolen. There, there's not a lot of depth to it, but those ones feel alive. So perhaps they captured more of the soul, but I think it's because, I guess in a certain sense, those people had more to go around. Don't know. Hey, hun. Yeah? Come come say hello, why don't you? Uh, because I'm a little nervous after yesterday. Hey, hun. Hey, mom. You look really tired. So do you. Also, I have a splitting headache. Well, the weather seems to agree with you. Rain drizzly. I could go for that today. Oh, I love the little attitude to her mouth. Hey, hun. Yeah? Sorry about yesterday. Me too. I said some stuff. I didn't really mean it. Well, whether you meant it or not, that isn't how we should communicate. I don't want us to stop talking. I just don't want a repeat of a, repeat of a few years ago. Hmm. I'm really sorry, Mom. Yeah, communication comes and goes with the folks you love, but you stick around. About all of it. Hey, May. You okay? I'm fine. I guess I'm stressed out, too. Saw some weird stuff last night. Or I think I did. Want to talk about it? Later. I'm still, like, putting it together. Can we talk about school? Also later. Thanks time. So, what are you stressed about? Well, I guess you're a grown-up now. Just spill it, Mom. After your incident a few years back, as you know, we went into some debt smoothing that over. Jeez, I'm still so sorry about that. It's in the past. Let's not go back over it. Okay. When it ca came time to get you off to school, we took advantage of a kind of mortgage to make sure you were taken care of. Okay... Well, turns out it wasn't a very good deal, and I just feel so stupid. They like to offer these mortgages to people who maybe don't have a lot of money, aren't used to getting offers like this. Why? Because the bank took advantage of us, and now they own the house and we owe them more than it's worth. What does that mean? It means we're not sure how long into the future we'll have the house. Holy crap, we're in trouble, huh? And I'm a huge jerk? It's okay, sweetie. Don't worry. Financial institutions and financial tools are really important. It just, it sucks that they're, they're motivated to make money. So they're often not what you'd like them to be, even though they do have an important place. It's, yeah. It's, you, I lo know some folks that used to work in like debt consolidation and when you do the math on some of the stuff like uh, th there's like online uh, sort of rent to buy stuff like that and it works out to being three four hundred percent of the price and people go for it because they think it's a good deal or they're not used to it 
and you get you help these people get back into the right spot and then they get encouraged to celebrate and whatnot and it puts them back over so that they're not able to get ahead and it starts snowballing again and it's just uh makes me feel kind of sick but you do what you can right what you reading it's a book of unsolvable murders did they all happen oh i don't know maybe sure want to hear a real teaser sure all right there's a man lying dead in a kitchen with a bullet wound in his head there's a man there with him he's got some blood on his right hand but no gun hmm last thing the dead guy has a scar on the back of his head do you know the answer well i don't know if there's one answer it's supposed to get you thinking about murder you should have been a detective yeah i would have loved that okay so i have a question what kind of scar does the get i have who's the other guy in the room what else is in the room so these are all very good questions um i'm curious what's el what else is in the room thermal stuff refrigerator microwave silverware knives no knife wounds though all oh, right hmm Okay, I think I got it. Woo, what you got? The guy in the room is a surgeon. He implanted a magnet in the dead guy's skull. That's why he has that scar. Then the suspect used a super magnet or something on the dead guy's forehead, which pulled the magnet out through the dude's head. Huh. That's why he has blood on one hand. Yup, and I bet the murder weapons are stuck to the fridge, holding up a pic of Aunt Dottie. <laughs> oh, bravo, sweetie. Thank you, thank you. We'd make quite a pair of investigators could open a, de a detective agency in town. Could use one right now, probably. Always work for crime solvers. All right, I'm going to get going. Love you, daughter detective. You too, Inspector Mom. That's cute. Mom. <laughs> the little murder. So I do like puzzles and brain teasers a lot, but the ones where... There just isn't enough information to solve it conclusively. Do kind of... I, I, I like when there's an answer. That's pro probably why I actually liked math in school. Um, although, kind of... Kind of got frustrated with calculus, but who doesn't? How's it going, Selmers? How was your Halloween? Weird. Went to our fest. Saw some messed up shit that I think was real. Then had a really bad nightmare. Mm, cool. I stayed in and w ate candy and watched TV. <laughs> the unflappable Selmers. Halloween episodes were on. Well, I was out living a Halloween episode, okay? Whoa. Yup. Want to hear a new poem? Uh, yeah, sure. Autumn wins, autumn sins. Okay. Autumn times, autumn crimes. What counts as an autumn sin? Yeah, what's, what's an autumn sin? Cheating on your wife with some gas station skank in November <laughs> okay oh right yeah that's uh inconsiderate I'm falling for you but ump crash hey Mr. Chazikov yes Selma you're gonna break your neck someday I will make sure to fall right on you uh, well I'm a big enough target uh, I'm bigger than you we should be covered you too Leaves, leaves, leaves. Is that a poem? Nope. Just like leaves. Alright. The missus varnished this porch herself. Don't go tracking mud all over it. Always got some new way of telling me to buzz off his porch. Which is his right. It's his porch, and I probably shouldn't be on it, but... He's mighty creative. Can't jump on the tree. Okay. and enough to be a good watcher when the sky is empty. They banished to the stranger places. They sought God in the lonely places. May is spending a lot more time alone. And the friendships... I wonder if it's... I mean, I'm sure it's about a lot of things and probably nothing in particular, right? Kind of the way of things, but... I wonder if... To a certain extent, it's about May finding the ability to spend time alone with herself, which 
might also be me, you know, projecting. But I do think that's an important thing that, especially, I say, as I'm streaming, because it helps give me some sense of social satisfaction and creative output. Um, and as someone who watches people stream as a sort of parasocial thing, but I think that it's very tough these days to find, to carve out the time to simply just think and be alone. Um, we've just, we've got so much information, so much to consume that spending time looking and watching in the empty places, because you find a lot of stuff, you project onto it, and it helps you think more, again, based on I'm probably even misquoting that original thing, but I, I like the concept of they sought God in lonely places. Not super religious, but I think there's an inspiration and a lot that you can find in those empty spaces. So, shout out to spending more time not watching me and just sitting and thinking in a corner. Miss May Borowski? Mm, present. Mm, smell the autumn winds. Yeah, hard to miss it. One should not miss such a thing. Talking of, want to see some stars? Yeah. You love the, like, slight smell of decay from the fallen leaves. Come have a look. Ah, I'm blind! This is your own fault at this point, I would say. Fair. Ooh, we're already close to one. Is that... that it? No. This one, okay found one. Let's see. Ooh. Snakey boy. Big snake. Big snake? Yup. <laughs> I saw a big snake once. At the zoo. In scouts we were hiking, and one was sunning itself on a rock. What a treat! I was thinking it's rare to see a snake just randomly relaxing. What's up th with this one? Big snake emerged from the earth and made war upon the villages. What villages? You know, villages. Okay. And as he wrapped himself around them, the villagers saw that they were encircled by the same big snake. They came together, and together slew the big snake. You learn. Why did big snake attack the people? Do you have sympathy for the big snake? Jeez, I don't know, but can we just keep saying big snake? Big snake. Big snake. Big snake. <laughs> tacitly avoiding the question. So this is five, and we'll see a sixth one. I wonder if we'll see eight total by the end of this, and if that corresponds to the symbology on the church. I, I, it feels like these are probably some form of old gods, right? Star located, Captain. Let us consult the guy. Oh. Oh, you will like this one. Really? Because they are dead. Okay, yeah, I'm into it. <laughs> That's... He's a good teacher. He understands how to reach out to folks, even as adults. Gramercy the medium. In life, he spoke with the dead? Really? Who knows? But when he died, his own spirit returned and spoke through him. Wait, that's dumb. How so? That's just called being alive. How did... Wait, what? That's just called being alive. Not so, his body was dead. So he was like a zombie? But just as smart as before. No looking for brains. So like normal, but he smelled bad? And maybe saw what was beyond? Just so. Why did they make this guy into a star? I have no idea. Yes, it's kind of impressive. Dumb, but impressive. So what's the moral of this one? Moral? Yeah, usually star things like this have some sort of moral. Some things are just strange. That's the moral? <laughs> that is our pair for the day. Well, gee willikers, Mr. Chazikov. <laughs> willikers. Wow, that was pretty great. Yes. Yes, it was. More in a couple days? Yes. Yeah, a lot of them have had like a full-on story, but... Those two just were. Why did Big Snake attack? Hmm. And Gramercy. Hmm. Isn't... What, why was he a star? What was the difference? I don't know. So, even though he knows the stories, I suppose he doesn't know all of it? 
things get lost. Okay. I do feel like I should be able to open these doors, but I suppose there have to be some secrets, some privacy in this town. No. Tunnel fish? No, no tunnel fish man. But do we get to hear more about Grandpa? Yes. <laughs> Can we give her the tooth? Oh, I don't get, I don't, I guess my babies are fully grown. They don't need me anymore. No more shoplifting for them. Oh, hey, Miss Rosa. Oh, hello, May. Feeling better? Oh, no worries. Howdy, cholera. All good. Some days are quiet days, and that is absolutely okay. As well as expected, I suppose. That's good. Did you want to talk about your grandfather? Yeah. Possum Springs was built on our backs and the backs before us. Time was they didn't pay the people in real money, paid in little tokens and bills stamped with the company name. Good at the company store for company goods. Back in school, they showed us some of those. Weird quarters and stuff. Your grandfather remembered. Your grandfather remembered. His daddy experienced it firsthand. Mine boss came into town driving a big fancy car. I didn't met your grandfather. A real bastard that boss, God forgive him. Your grandfather runs out of the dance. I think he was a bit drunk, or just stupid in some brave way. He shouts, The guts of all bosses! He all of a sudden has a hunting knife from somewhere, and he slashes the boss's tires. <laughs> wow! Picks up a rock, put it through the windshield, then he climbs up. I'm sorry, this part is a bit rude. Holy shit, don't stop. He pees through the windshield hole. This is amazing. Did they catch him? Nah, just me and few other folks saw it. I trot over to him and we run off down the alley, past the AOK -okay drugstore. Hey, we've seen that now. Big field, big parking lot nowadays. Stars fat and bright. Guess we were both pretty drunk. One thing led to another. Oh, okay. Wait, when was this? A uh, very long time ago. Was he... Hmm. 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 So, what happened with the car? Got towed away. Police couldn't get no witnesses. We weren't snitches about that kind of thing. Damn right. So, like I said, you got troublemaker blood. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, I never knew this. I don't think your daddy even knows. I bet not. You gonna tell him? No. Secret keeper like me, eh? I just think it'd be a weird conversation. You may find someday it isn't so strange. I wanted to pass this story along to you. It was one night, one thing he did in a lifetime of nights and things he did. What you want to do with that is part of your story now. It's one night and one thing he did and a long life of one nights and one things he did. Oh. Yeah. If that's not a maxim that makes you want to live life more. I can't talk much more for today. I'd like to know more about him. This was crazy. Mm. I'll see you, May. Sooner or later. Okay. Bye, Miss Rosa. Bye for now. Bye for now, M May Borowski. Oh, there was um uh, the all of them keeping silent reminds me a bit of um I think he was called Kevin Ma Kevin Rex McEl McElroy McElroy, uh some guy who was kind of uh, tyrannical in a town and uh, long story short, after people lost hope that the police could do anything. Um, they kind of got gathered together um, in a bar to discuss things, and then someone basically, the police actually suggested forming a neighborhood watch, which is never really what you want to hear. Someone said, hey, he's outside in his truck, and a mob went out, and someone from the crowd shot him in the back of the head. Um, he died. And no one saw who shot him, but you know, it was in a crowd. Someone saw it. Most people probably saw it. You know that everyone in that town probably knows, and they kept silent, but that guy probably got a lot of free beers and whatnot. Um, and it's just, it's one of those weird things that you feel about ethically. Like, it's, uh, 
he was someone who needed to be stopped. That really wasn't the right way to stop him, but the right ways to stop him weren't working. I don't know, but they weren't snitches about that kind of thing, I guess. Hey, uh, kind of a weird question, but is anyone missing? What? Like, anyone you know who was out last night and didn't come back? Uh, I don't think so. What's going on? Nothing. Thought I saw something. Okay, uh, you should tell us if this is something. Just be careful, okay? Keep an eye out. And let me know if you see anything weird, okay? I mean, you all hang out together constantly. You're safer than anyone else I know. Uh. That's not probably the best way to do it, but... You go, May. Doing something, at least. I feel weird not getting to steal a pretzel for the little rat babies. That was like May's entire job. Oh, is someone moving in? Probably something dumb. I miss you, Pizza Place. No, I, I feel bad skipping one of those things. I was just trying to jump and move. Party barn. This is where we saw someone get kidnapped. War is some bullshit. You hear me, statue? I guess you were drafted. Ugh. You died before you got to enjoy the statue they made of you. It's garbage. They can't make me go to war. I'll go underground. I'll join some sort of group that's against war and stuff. We'll blow up war stuff and sabotage other war stuff. I'll live in the shadows for decades. No address. Always on the run. Living in a trailer in the desert. I'll, it'll be awesome. But, yeah, no, it's, uh, a statue is cold comfort. So, today's my last day. Oh dear, we're gonna miss you. It happened so fast. Let us know how it is. I will. I'll come visit. Can't leave you two to fend for yourselves. Oh dear, what are we gonna do without you? Y'all wanna go see a movie or something? Yeah, let me get settled in, and we can go on an outing. And you'll see me whenever you go out for groceries. That's true. I ain't going far. Not far at all. Yay. Amicable parting. That pocket pawn. Alright, let's check out the church. Also, it didn't process that, yeah, the war memorial has a little eight-pointed star. So that's, you know, we're drawing parallels to Christianity, the cross equivalent. Slap it on everything. Good branding. The fire-breathing man-eating saint. He's a man-eater. Man-eater. And Pastor K. I don't feel right about it. I know, but sometimes the right the right thing doesn't feel right. I just think it's wrong to take something when folks don't want you to take it. Well, I feel like God would see this differently. I do, at least. Hmm. That's because you're a good person. Uh, so he doesn't want to take some sort of handout? Hey, hey. Hey again. Hey. So, I had this really bad dream last night. Me too. I dreamed I was a pizza, and I was afraid someone would slice me. Jeez. Yep. This just makes me sad we don't have a pizza place anymore. Gotta order it out from out by the highway now. Tragic. I had a dream I was a goose flying south, and I had to keep up with the other gooses, or I'd get lost. That's sad. Weren't a good dream. What are y'all talking about? Big meeting coming up. City council. Yup. About... About Bruce here. Mm. Wow, that's intense. We'd appreciate your prayers. This is precisely the kind of time where God shows up. Hope so. Me too. Okay. Still haven't seen any of the pentagrams the goth kids were talking about. Maybe we can see it today when they're not all sitting there? Nope. Don't see a pentagram. Okay. <laughs> I do like the... I'm assuming that it's like a telecommunications or radio tower back there. Seeing those in the distance, I always 
I love thinking about radio. There's uh, what the Rush song, "Spirit of the Radio." I just I love the freedom that that sort of gives to folks. It's why I mean I know this channel is just Johan plays things, but why the other channel I made on YouTube and why the Discord is uh, the Printing Press Revisited, um, where I want to eventually take some of this is spending time just looking at the history of some stuff, some very basic skills that we don't really think about much anymore, and just kind of trying to make some videos exploring some of these basic concepts and trying to connect more with these things that we've kind of abstracted out in the modern industrial society because we get so specialized. Because the printing press was the democratiz democratization of information and being able to record it and disseminate it. Um, that was when we basically got the first, like, crummy, pulpy stuff, right? Uh, I guess pulps were later because pulp paper. But, I mean, even though it was still expensive, fancy paper, it was the first time you could write these sordid, lurid things and just put them out there because you could. It was getting books and pamphlets out into the hands of, of the public. Radio feels a similar way to me. Um, of just, it's, it's a way that we were able to put information out. And the internet is the newest form of that. I mean, I'm just some person at home streaming. I'm out there, I'm here broadcasting and people can interact and talk back. It's a cool two-way medium, which the other ones haven't been. But yeah, I'm doing my best to revisit the printing press and just make things. Also a song, but I'll, I'll, I'll make a video about that at some point. Hey, hey, church mom. Hey, heathen daughter. Oh, I'll make it in here someday. But come on, seriously, no one likes getting up on Sunday. I find it very enriching. Your father does too. Mostly. But he attends, and that's important. And he knows it means a lot to me. Alright, well, guilt thoroughly tripped. You do work for the church. That's not what faith is like, hon. There's more grace than condemnation. Kinda. Whatever. Alright, I'm out. See you later, sweetie. Would actually love to attend the service in the game. I think that would be very interesting to see Pastor K speak and see how May reacts to it. Oh, <laughs> the step. I do also love grace as a concept. Again, you know, it's, it means probably different things to me since I'm not uh, was not really brought up in that tradition. But I. Uh, a professor of theology at my college uh, referred to it as forgiveness that comes before and I that's a concept that's really stuck with me um, I really like that idea of and it it's it's it smooth it smooths bleh, smooths things over a lot by extending people that grace extending people that forgiveness before it's necessarily quote unquote earned it's Okay, the, the head is normally gone. Um, but it's just kind of extending people the expectation that they have a reason for doing what they do, and even if you don't understand it, even if it's in conflict with what you're trying to do, there's a reason for it, it's worthy of respect, and that makes people a lot more willing to listen and interact, I find. <laughs> oh, it's... I, oh, I didn't notice if the rats were there before, but there are rats. Plastic flowers are, like, super depressing for some reason. Dead flowers are less depressing than plastic ones. What, fake eternity is more depressing than faded youth? My babies have left, left the nest. Aw. Oh, and there's more rats in there. Will we recognize each other on the street? Maybe, maybe not. Oh, and oh, and in the pipe work. Yeah, I'll I'll need to check back and see if. I wonder if they've been slowly increasing in numbers. I've just not noticed. It's when you're when you have goals, when you're going for things, you tend to notice less because you're focused on that. Okay, can't jump up that way. So I want to talk to Lori. No, okay. There we go. Climb on up. Yes, this is why it's a platformer. Even though it's very story driven, there there is some platforming puzzle. They just try not to make it too difficult. 
Did you go to Harfest? Yeah, um, ended up in a play because my friend B screwed it up. Cool, I ate pizza and watched Blood Gorgon. Cool. Blood Gorgon? Italian movie from like 1980. Lots of blood, but it's like theatrical and stuff. Girls boarding school. Bunch of ghosts kidnapping them. Taking them to the... To the Blood Gorgon? Yep. Mm. Is something wrong? Nah, just... I think I saw a ghost or something last night. Ugh, I'm not sure. That sounds kind of awesome. It was like the opposite of awesome. Oh, sorry. It's cool. I'll see you later. Good luck with your ghost problem. Thanks. You see some? You see someone messed up the mural in the tunnel? Yeah, <laughs> pretty funny. I mean, very weird and bad. Any idea who did it? Nope. Lots of suspects though. Yeah, whole town full of suspects. Nice. I like Lori. I, I do wish she had a little more confidence to not just immediately change her answer, but... Angus? Howdy, Angus. You up for band practice in a bit? I guess. Weird night. How so? I'll tell you about it later. Okay. Wow, I'm also realizing I'm so focused when I'm uh, playing the music in the band uh, on trying not to mess it up, failing, and talking about it, also often failing. Um, I don't know who plays what. I know B plays drums. Drum machine. It's wet again. And I'm cold again. It's just rain. Hey, uh, why are we still standing out here? Someone has to. <laughs> ah, great logic. Uh, Falcon, let's go see Jern first, because Greg will 100% pull us in. Band practice, right? Click, clack, diner. Oh, it's, uh, Hardware Store Cat. Hey, dude. Hey, you? Working here now? Yep. Sucks, but it pays. Question, how do they fit a kitchen in there? Mm, barely. What do you do here? Grillman and janitor. I cook and mop. At the same time? Yes. <laughs> yep. I, being a cashier, I very much feel the <laughs> doing three jobs at once. It's kind of fun. So long as folks are nice about it. Hey. Sup, kid. <laughs> you smell weird. Why is my aunt's car here? That's your aunt? Yeah. Oh, weird that... Oh, weird. That, like, makes you half cop? You'll never half catch me, half coppa. Ha 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 I don't know what they're doing up there. Huh. You go to Harfest? Nah, over it. Cool. I had kind of a weird time. Weird bad time, actually. It's a guaranteed weird bad time. Yeah. Those people from yesterday still here? Mm, dunno. We're not, like, good friends or anything. Oh yeah, I don't know why I thought you'd know. I was wondering if they ever met Casey, out there somewhere. I can ask. I used to ask. I just hate thinking about him out there all by himself. Oh, Casey's tough. He'll be fine. And you gotta get out? You gotta get out. Yeah, I guess. Well, see ya at band practice. Real talk. Do you actually like watching us play? Yeah, I mean you're not good, but yeah. Not my style. What is your style? Uh, black metal, uh, thrash crossover, hip-hop. I like Witch Dagger. They're kind of metal. Oh yeah, like that Doom shit, right? da da durga Totally. Hmm. What? You know, one time a guy followed me home. Like, a guy from the tracks. What? What did you do? It was like some night back in the summer, and out of the corner of my eye, I could kind of see this dude take this turn out of the parking lot, and start creeping up the hill, like, 50 feet back. But, like, I didn't want to look right at him. Uh, I took a detour through the woods and sat in a tree. It was getting dark, but, like, I could see him standing just off the road, waiting for me to come down. Oh my god. What did you do? 
After it got dark, I climbed down and got up the hill real quick. Ah! Yeah, it was a weird bad time. Uh, I'm so upset right now. Ah, uh, I know, right? See ya. So, Germ... Germ lives here, then. Does he have anyone to look out for him? What were you doing out here last night? I saw someone kidnap someone like a kid. Yeah, let's be helpful. Like a kid. Tell me what you saw again. Someone in a big old coat with someone over their back. Uh-huh. And you chased them down here? Yeah, and I got up to the fence and they were up in the woods. Alright. Thank you, May. Ugh, I knew you were just going to brush this off. May, there's been no missing person reports. That tends to happen when a kid goes missing from something like Harfest. Hell, I got six calls about kids out too late. There would be a report. I'm reporting! This is this! This! This right here! This is a report! May, there's no break in the fence. So? So unless someone could jump this thing while carrying a teenager who hasn't been reported as missing? Any theories, May? Uh... Could have gone around the fence. I don't know, May. This fence goes out along the parking lots. Almost to the tracks. For you to be right behind them, and then to be miraculously on the other side of the fence? Ugh. It's running around half the night, getting after teenage bullshit, and people scared of clotheslines and noises. I- you- 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 uh, Are you trying to kick off a horror movie? No one believes the girl who saw the ghost. Well, I have bad news for you. The cop always dies. I'm sorry, we're talking about a ghost now? You must have gone through the fence? Really, May? No, yes? I don't know. I'm really tired. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. Will you at least check the woods? May, me and Dan McConnell were up there this morning because of what you said last night. From the fence up to the old mine, we found a couple of teenagers on a gross mattress. We saw some worried-looking deer, and one deer hunter out too early. That can't be it. That is it. I get that she's upset. The cop always dies! I get that she's upset. But... I mean... The... Aunt Mall Cop cares about her. She... Listen, she spent a lot of time searching. Just because she didn't find anything, she tried. So, I I don't know. I get you're in distress, May, but not her fault. She's doing what she can. Snack, Falcon. Greg will make everything better. Doo -doo -doo. What's up, dude? Ugh. Huh? Long night, weird night. What's up? I'll tell you at band practice. Cool. What you up to? Just saying hello. Just saying hello. Hello. Okay, <laughs> then let's head out. Let's head out to band practice. Yeah, let's do this. Okay. So, Angus is vocals and Greg is amp. <laughs> Hey, dude. You okay? You look tired. <laughs> While I am always a big fan of your energy, Cholera, no worries. Again, I'm just happy whenever you show up, and if someone's enjoying it, that's real cool. Get some good rest, and hopefully see you down the road. You okay? You look tired. Ugh, I was up all night. They were fixing the roof door, and it was super loud. Roof door? Yeah, the door at the top of the stairs. That goes out onto the roof. Now I can, like, I don't know, run from that door down in the lobby, up to the roof, and pee off the side of the building? Yeah, maybe not. But what's to stop random people from doing that, too? Dude, it'll be fine. Sorry, I'm just tired. Fair. Ready to go? Yeah, let's do this shit. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. Uh oh, this is going That is fair. There is there was a lot more of that today. So this is the pumpkin head guy song. Anyhow. My heart's pumpkin head guy. 
See ya. Got good rest. He's right behind me. He's coming up the street. His shadow stretching from his feet. My pumpkin head guy. What's behind the mask? I need to even ask. He's the pumpkin head guy. Okay. So, I am not going to be a famous Osu player, I guess. Wow, May, that was a uh, pretty bad, is what it was. I literally do not know this song. <laughs> Phew! So fast. You just pushed a button. Hmm. I am so tired. I strained my vocal cords yelling. Awesome. I'm going to sound so husky. And anyway, I don't even know if they're dreams or not. And this guy who I think was a ghost kidnapped some kid I also think was in my head after while I was sleeping. And anyway, yeah, I think I need to do something because this is scary. Well, that's not what I was expecting to hear tonight. Are you okay, dude? Yeah. N no I'm kind of freaked out. It probably wasn't a ghost. Yeah, probably not. Yeah, definitely. Ugh. Okay, fine. I'll go figure this out myself. Aw, uh, dude, don't be like that. You got us. Uh, dudes. Okay, fine. So we need to maybe see if there's, like, some ghosty stuff happening around here, like, from a source we can trust. Such as, does the newspaper have, like, a ghost section? What? Why is that a dumb question? You know, we could go check the library? For books about it? No, they have the local paper on file, going back a century. There's some secret history of kidnapper ghosts. We'll find it there, probably. Oh, wow, I didn't know they had that. Thought it was just, like, a broken-down old bunch of books? When's the last time you were at the library? We actually have one of the nicer ones around. Oh. How? Rich dude who paid for it way back when? Yeah, they set up a foundation and... Hmm? Never mind. Let's go. Will you regroup after? Uh... Sure. Okay, we'll be back. Woohoo! Ghosties! That's the spirit. The library. Oh, yo, more public uh, murals. Look, jobs! Weird, like, when this was painted, it was like, Hey, look out the window. We're all working. Things are great. Now it's like, one of the, the, one of the graffiti murals. Where someone gets shot or hit by a car. This mural is really affecting you. I forget that we live in separate realities. Mine's clearly better. Pumpkinhead guy. Okay. Oh, be in tow. Oop. Hey. Closing in two hours. Okay, cool. Any idea where the microfish is? Microfish? Microfish. Third floor. Okay, thanks. Up, up, up. Slow night? Yep. Spooky here, all alone? I'd be spooked. Eh. Yeah. Always wandering around here somewhere. I would like to work in a library. It would take a while, but... Lots of cool knowledge. Doobly-doo. Doobly-doo. Looks like someone left something open on this one. It's a resume. Bob Targ, born 1967. 
50 years old. Let's see. Experience, mining, construction, well drilling. I never think about getting a job when I'm old. 50's not really old. I mean, you should have money then, right? Ideally. Should be like, guaranteed. Should be guaranteed in general. Are you gonna join my young socialist chatterbox group? <laughs> May independently reinventing socialism, or at least universal basic income. Holy crap. What? It's Charity Barity. What's Charity Barity? How do you not know Charity Barity? I assume this is something from school. The school of being five freaking years old. Alright, so this was a thing you liked as a kid. No, I hated Charity Barity. It does look really hateable. It was like you were kidnapped by a cult, you were you were under some you were kidnapped by a cult. And when they were like brainwashing you instead of some cult guy with a wavy dagger and a magic mask, that's not okay, yeah, go on. Instead of that, it was this effing pink nightmare. You were scared of it? No, I was bored to death. It was talking forever about being kind to others, and like, I don't know, helping an old neighbor do engine repair? That sounds... nice? Charity Barity helps old Mr. Plonko fix his hovercraft? God, no, that's the worst part. It always rhymed. Charity Barity, Pink Knight Barity. Charity Barity, I just don't care Jeez, they sure made a lot of these books. I think they're still making them. This one looks pretty old. Charity Barity, Danger Everywhere-ity. That's vague and disconcerting. Could've just kept updating that one book. Oh, so is the- <laughs> I need to get back in the elevator, don't I? I went, oh, it will take me right up to where I need to be. No, it will take me to the second floor. Going up. Ooh. This must be the top floor, right? Because basement level, sniff sniff. Oh wow, it's dusty up here. It's old up here? Sure is. Maybe your ghost is up here? Yep, ghost. Or something. Whatever he was. He walked through a chain link fence, or flew over it. Or something. While carrying something. Alright, well, that's even more impressive. So, we're gonna go find this guy, because he took someone, and he's, like, somehow connected to this thing I've been going through. And that's not good. That all sounded a lot more badass in my head. It's okay. It was fine. Okay. <laughs> Alright, there she is. So, I think if I get to a good seeming stopping point. I'm guessing this is going to be a long night, so if we get to like another transition, I think I'll wrap it up then. All right, there she is. Cool. So I have no idea how to use it. Really? I can't know how to do everything. I'm sorry, but what expertise have you brought to this thus far? This whole thing was my idea. No, your idea was ghost hunting. My idea is to do at least a tiny bit of research on it. If you think it's so stupid, why are you here? Because you're my friend, you asshole. Oh. Aww. Ugh. Are we friends, Beatrice? Wow. <laughs> here, let me get this set up. We'll be here all night if your dumbass is in charge. All right, so what are we looking for? I want to steer. No. Move, I'm steering. Ow. Jeez, May. Hmm, I'm sorry. Uh, okay, okay, okay. How do we do this? Uh, step one, look at the screen. Step two, move around and look at stuff. Step three, find ghost. Sure. So. Oh, I remember scanning obituaries. Whoa, there's so much. Oh man, I want to read all of this, but also no. <laughs> Progress Springs and Possum Springs. Ralph Randolph Stafford, owner of the Bell's Hole Mine Works, is partnered with Samuel Colson, owner of Colson Coke Works, Daniel Glick, Railroad Magnet. Uh, Farming desire to build a model. Okay. 
got some living in your elementary school. Okay, so rich dude making infrastructure. There's been another sighting of the albino groundhog from a very reliable source this time. Uh, lead him to business. Oh, there was a um, deer on my campus that had uh, wasn't a wasn't like full albinism, but it had like uh, low levels of pig pigment. It, it was really cute. Um, possum statue, known as Posse, is finally slated for demolition. Um, through Posse, Bright of Passage, Posse's ear next year, Ralph Jenkins. Oh! Oh, okay. Statue that has a history of hurting people, like uh, Lucifer in Denver, Colorado, the big blue demon horse. Pie piracy! Dear citizens, please make note to keep your pies safe during the pleasant weather we are experiencing. Several ladies have reported pies from their kitchens disappearing at alarming rates. Even worse, Vicky Culprit is leaving behind only the rhubarb pies. Well, until this criminal is caught or the bad weather returns, we remind our housewives to make use of their pie safes indoors or stick to rhubarb. Strike. Strike at Stafford Mine is called. Verse arose. Miners gathered in the home of Arthur Borowski to continue the memorial to their friends. They also began recounting all the promises the bosses had reneged on, re reneged? Reneged on this past year, including basic safety measures to avoid another explosion. A group of 20 miners entered the mines and began the strike, and 30 more joined them before morning. All work has been stopped at the mine, and miners are now striking in 8-hour shifts. Okay. And mines are safer. Boss have stayed. The mines are safer than they were a year ago, and that there is no need to act in this manner. Local ghost, little Joe, at it again. Ooh, look! Scooch, so I can see. Graveyard, that's a gimme. I mean, if you're looking for ghost stuff. All the as the school children are quick to inform you, Possum Springs has at least one resident who won't show up on any census survey. Little Joe, purportedly the ghost of Joe Shade, a miner who died in mysterious circumstances some decades ago, is a favorite spook story for, of the whimsical and weird members of our community. The uh, grave has become a destination for unruly and often destructive local youths, and as such, Possum Springs City Council is considering erecting an iron gate to protect the historical tombstones that fill the small hollow where Joe Shade lies buried. Ah, that's where they make a lot of them. Looks like they saw him in the old section. Oh cool, that's where his grave is. I'm actually interested in that. How could you not be interested? This is like actual dangerous ghost stuff. I like history. Ghosts are history. History that won't stay history. Huh, that's pretty good. Samuel Coulson has purchased 10 acres of land. We inquired what Mr. Coulson would use land for, only to remark that uh, what was coming would be a delight to both young and old for years to come. We are anxious. We are very anxious to be delighted. Underground gases afflict many. Mm, this is interesting, but yeah, not exactly about a ghost. Yeah, but it might. <laughs> might be uh, fueling some paranoia. Uh, yeah, hearing voices or seeing things that weren't there. Mm, talking to her sister who passed away 50 years ago. Since that swamp gas, yo. Strike lumbers on. Oh, I guess they weren't lumber workers, so no badump crash. Uh, for two cents, one can enter Stanley and spend quite a lovely time looking at the Possum Springs of yesteryear in the museum. Okay. Tragedy. Will probably be new old store in the town center. Old Pickaxe Hardware Store is set to have its grand opening on Saturday. We received a sneak peek of the store yesterday, and our town will benefit greatly from this new addition. Roy Burge is bringing 25 years of building experience to his new venture that and it stocked shelves with all the nuts, bolts, and nails you would need. Okay. I wonder if this will get her talking. No ghost to be found here. The way you say ghost, it sounds like you don't believe me. Hmm. Okay. Nope. Awesome massacre. Severe violence broke out at the Stafford Mine Strike today. Still haven't figured out the song that I was thinking of the other time. Found by uh, some of the children present. Rocks were thrown in the National Guard and strike breakers opened fire on the crowd. After a few minutes, the smoke cleared and the gory scene revealed. Nine miners are dead with a dozen more injured. Uh, yep. Cold blood, 7-9, uh, circulated far outside our little county. Personal visit from the governor to the strike. Yeah. Events, okay. Uh, strange but true, a tale of teeth we'll want to look at. Apollo County mourns from the explosion. 
Sound off opinion line. No spitting. Oh, I, I did love the... When going through the old newspapers for um, obituaries, I loved the little ads. There was, like, uh, some recurring characters and whatnot that I'm like, I haven't seen them, but apparently they still get used. Um, spectral happenings at Possum Jump. Okay, 11.45 p.m. Someone jumped off, basically. Forestry workers next morning couldn't find any evidence. So we'll look at that one, but okay. Strange But True, A Tale of Teeth. Strange But True is our ongoing series about the weird and forgotten aspects of Deep Hollow Country history and culture published weekly. Bad bosses figure heavily into Possum Springs history, and this morbid tale of crime and secret societies is no exception. The story goes, in 1870, a local mine boss was skimming workers on the, their pay. A group of miners confronted him while he was in the act. He denied everything with many a slur and punched the miners' leader, Arnold Glace, in the face, causing him to lose his last remaining tooth. The miners knew how much Darnie's tooth meant to him and they descended on the boss. A few held the boss down while the others removed all of his teeth with pliers. The teeth were passed out to the miners and a secret society was, was created with a vow to protect the workers' interests. Membership was based on owning one of these teeth and each was marked with a symbol of their choosing. This, these symbols were used around the coal patch to organize meetings and make announcements. The boss survived his attack but never named his attackers for fear of implicating himself. When, when died a few later, a few years later, members dug up his grave to retrieve his skull. It was used in ceremonies performed before going out for retribution. All would gather around, place their teeth into the sockets, and later retrieve their tooth after the retribution was completed. Upon a member's death, their tooth would be passed to a new member. The teeth of members in jail would be left in their sockets until their fates were decided. After the strike of 1889, the society dwindled. Usually, a descendant of one of these men will find a tooth with strange markings in their home. Strange, but true. Yikes. Oh wow, this is gnarly. And awesome. Uh, oh my god. It's <laughs> convincing. Um, spectral happen. A tragedy. Explosion occurred at 6.20 a.m. This one? Uh, all work has ceased. Survivors, so far three men have been pulled out along with 20 dead. 10 miles deep. Yeah, mining accidents are... Jeez. This one? No ghost. Spectral happenings. Ah. Hey, look at this. Hmm, yeah. Looks like awesome jump? Let me read it. It's possum jump. Okay, yeah, that's back up in the state park, right? Yeah? Never been up there? Nope. Gonna check it out, though. Go nuts. Uh, and Deep Hollow County Morns. Final group of bodies from the 1888 explosion have been recovered two days shy of the one-year anniversary. No ghost here. No, okay. So we looked at that one. No ghost here. That one, it's not- oh! Ghostly rumors haunt new historical society. The Shriegeist House. Get a stag. Be there after hours. Here's some walking around. Mr. Nussum. President Daylight Hour. Okay. Go spotted. Historical society. History that won't stay history. In a history place. History place. Yeah, I've never been. You didn't go back in school? I think this was when I wasn't in school. Oh, after the softball incident. Yeah, mostly just watched TV and did therapy. Well, it's actually a pretty cool old house. Used to be owned by one of the mine owners or something? Railroad, mine, steel mill, something like that. An actual haunted house! Uh, no. Elementary school kids are there all the time. They have, like, summer arts and crafts programs. Oh, well, still worth checking out. Okay, well, that's like three leads. Let's boogie. Let's boogie. Also, is that it? Yeah. Yeah. Three clues! We got three leads! You're a regular detective. May Borowski, a detective of ghosts. Alright, alright. Let's go. <clears throat> so, we've got some leads. Can I borrow your car this week? Do you even have a license? I mean, no, regardless, but do you? Nope. No license, no credit cards, don't believe in money. You just believe in other people's cars and money. I didn't choose to be born into this society. Hmm, okay, well, I have, you know, a job. So I can't drive you around to all of these spots. Maybe do the graveyard. 
I need to go there anyway. Cool. I'll see if Greg wants to do the other two. You know, like, and I probably don't have to say this, but just because something happened in the past doesn't mean it's going to happen again. Hey, nerd, ever hear that history repeats? It does. It does the same thing over and over again. So we've just been in a loop since we're living in caves? Yeah, that's science. Oh my freaking god. Well, hopefully it doesn't repeat too much, May. <laughs> Sounds like your family history was not something you want to repeat. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> what is... Is that Miss Quelsey? Oh wow, haven't seen her since graduation. Oh, it's Tunnelfish Guy and so Poetry Circle. She was always kind of a badass. School district did not fund that art program at all, but she made it work. She was like some sort of art teacher survivalist. Wow, I never realized. I think they pay her in bits of string and empty soda cans. Thank you all for coming to this second meeting of the Possum Springs Poetry Society. Do you want to stick around for this? Yeah. Tonight we have new poems from myself and Fisherman Jones, and Selma Ann Forrester. I will start us off with one of my own. She's from some big city, right? They don't actually pay her in string, right? Uh, yes, May, they literally pay her in string. I was just joking. Right. Ahem. <laughs> Letter to my worst student. To my worst student, the subject of my stories, I tell friends back home. When they ask about life, out here in the sticks, it's you, I worry. And at the end of my life, you will be the only one I remember. Why did you key my car? I know it was you, Brian. Thanks, everyone. Is that legal? <laughs> what? Talking about details about students like that? She didn't name names. Yeah, she did. Okay, no full names. Next up, Fisherman Jones. Fisherman Jones has a poem for us. Two. Two poems. They're short, though. Two, po two poems. Take it away. Uh, hi, folks. Thanks. This is called Tunnel Eels. Tunnel Eels, Tunnel Eels. I do not know how it feels to be in darkness all the time, born in muck and raised in slime. But neither do you know what paths... Oh, so it hardly is your place to judge. Something in sludge. Okay, that's one poem, and the next one is shorter. This is called Tunnel Frogs. Tunnel Frog swims in the dark. Must think it would be a lark to be a fisherman like me, but what do you know, Amphibian? That's it. That's great. Thank you, Fisherman Jones. Dude is really worried about what... He definitely talks to the actual fish. Oh, most definitely. And there's nothing wrong with that. Finally, a poem by Selma Ann Forrester. Yay, Selmers! Thanks, May. You know her? Dude, she's like your neighbor. Oh. She writes these really funny, dorky, short poems. I'm up for something short and funny. This is called, There's No Reception in Possum Springs. Ah. Uh -huh. She's not wrong. <clears throat> no reception here. I wave my black phone. In the air like a flare, like a prayer, but no reception. I read on the internet, baby face boy billionaire. Phone app sold, made more money in one day than my family over a hundred generations. More than my whole world ever has. World where house buying jobs become rent paying jobs become li became living with family jobs. Boy billionaires. Money is access, access to politicians waiting for us to die. Lead in our water, alcohol and painkillers. Replace my job with an app. Replace my dreams of a house and a yard with a couch in the basement. The future is yours. Horse 24-7 entrepreneurs. I just want to make a pay want a paycheck in my own life. I'm on the couch in the basement. They're in the house and the yard. Some night I will catch a boss out to the west coast and burn their Silicon City to the ground. Holy shit. Wow. Damn. Uh, she rhymed entrepreneur. I don't even know what that word means. Thanks, everyone. Is she always like this? No. Wow. Yeah, that... <laughs> I don't think I have commentary that will speak more than the poem, but... Wow. Huh. Thanks, everyone. See you in two weeks. Hey, Selmers. What? I liked your weird poem. Thanks. I wrote it myself. Wait. 
was the assumption that she didn't write it her nice work smelmer i don't like that nickname what are you two sorry it's cool can we go now yes we can go okay thank oh no i i need a i need a place to okay save and quit okay before we go on an adventure we've done our research we've heard some poetry let's put a pin in this and then let's go find a ghost figure out what's going on and wrap it up probably finishing it tomorrow but we'll have to wait and see all right well productive day of ghosts and ghouls went to Harfest and had a lot of things thrown at us that I'm going to have to think about emptiness. Thank you all to everyone who tuned in. Whether you're lurking, not very talkative, it's all good. I just appreciate anyone who likes to listen to what I have to say for some weird reason. And I'm having a blast playing the game. So, have a wonderful rest of your night and hope that everyone has a great day tomorrow. I'll be back with some magic in the morning, but in the meantime, bye!